You wouldn't be watching this if it weren't for Hedy Lamarr. What is up friends, it's Maddie, and today we're talking about the American-Austrian actress and inventor Hedy Lamarr. She was kind of really freaking cool. Hedy Lamarr was born on November 9th, 1914 to Jewish parents in Vienna, Austria. When she was a teenager, she was discovered as an actress by an Austrian film director and worked in films in Austria and Germany until she was an adult. As a young adult, she was very unhappily married to a man who was a munitions manufacturer and sold arms to the Nazis. So I found at least one problem with the dude. So she decided to end the marriage and head to the US. While in America, she signed a contract with the studio Metro Goldwyn Mayer during its golden age. She starred in several films, I will not be listing them because there are a lot of them, but if you would like to check them out, those links will be down in the doobly doos. She very quickly became an international beauty icon and was even dubbed the most beautiful woman in the world. But during the peak of her career, she started exploring a field that was very different from entertainment. How do you pronounce this dude's name? Pronunciation, here we are. I can't pronounce anything. Woohoo! This is dope music though. Sounds like early 2000s Christian rock. Yo, welcome to my channel. Did you just say yo? So, the word you see, it sounds like Anthel. She started working with her friend George Anthel, who was a brilliant composer. I love his work so much, I'll put the links to some of it down in the doobly doos. But it wasn't music that they were working on. They invented something called the secret communication system. It was a type of radio signaling device. The device would manipulate radio frequencies at irregular intervals between transmission and reception. It formed a type of unbreakable code that would prevent classified messages being intercepted by enemy personnel. While the invention was used against the Nazis during World War II, the enormous significance of the invention wasn't recognized until decades later. It was used on naval ships during the Cuban Missile Crisis, and it evolved into being used for numerous military applications. The spread spectrum technology created a backbone for all wireless connections to exist. So they basically invented Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all that jazz. Which is pretty cool, right? Like, that's awesome. But despite her glamorous film career and all of her pioneer work in the world of inventing, Hedy Lamarr had a very hectic personal life. She was married six times in her life and had three children between two of those marriages. She was arrested twice for shoplifting. She had significant drug problems like many actors did at the time, especially those signed with MGM. But her movies and inventions live on. She became the first female recipient of the Bulby Award. It's a prestigious lifetime achievement award that's been dubbed the Oscar of inventing. Spending her life proving that you can have both a pretty face and a brilliant mind, Hedy Lamarr shattered stereotypes and earned a place among the 20th century's most important inventors. Thank you so much for watching! If you like this video, you know the drill, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new here and enjoy the type of content I make, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I like to think that I post funny things on Twitter and aesthetic photos on Instagram, so if you want to follow me on any social media, be sure to click those links down in the doobly-doos, and while you're down there, check out any of my sources. If you have any requests for a history or science topic you would like me to cover, be sure to let me know in the comments. And that is all. Bye!